Hello everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today I have some special guests in the studio and you guys actually might recognize them from the last time they were in here talking to us about Fatality Gaming Gear's very own ASRock motherboards and I have Jonathan from Fatality Gaming Gear. Sir, how are you? Good idea, Steve. Uh, I'm very good. And then we have Dave. Hello. How are you doing? Hanging in there, having yeah. a little sinus infection, so it doesn't <laughs> sound too bad. I bet you guys are really hurting right now. The, the, the Z97 round is just really destroying all the reps out there, so I completely thank you so much for both of you guys coming in to speak to us about sure. this. Glad um, to be here. So, no, thank you. And I want to kind of just dive right in. So what are kind of the main features that all the boards across the line here share? Um, well, you know, the, the whole line of Fatality Gaming Gear motherboards are built to uh, appease to the gamer that wants to play video games. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we do everything from kind of an entry-level board, the perfor performance series, um, all the way to kind of like a, a mid-range, like bang for the buck for the gamer, uh, still having some overclocking abilities and so forth and have some features. Then we have like the professional series, which is like the high end, like, you know, the pro is going to want to use this computer because he'll get max overclocking capabilities with it and, and uh, play the games at full game speed. Just all the bells and whistles, basically. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, so what, what did you think, Dave? What, what's one of the first features that kind of pop out at you that, that these boards share? Well, obviously, they have what we call the the gaming, uh, the fatality gaming features, mm -hmm. uh, things like the uh, um, uh, F stream, which is uh, allows you to configure the board and the, the gaming features. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the fatality mouse port, which allows you to change some of the polling rates on the older mice, uh, as well as the uh, key master, kind of a sniper function, which Jonathan can talk a little bit more about as well. Yeah, so we have a feature uh, where you can kind of like, you know, modify, like in certain games you might be don't have like a, a button you can press to lower, lower your sensitivity in game or whatnot. So we have this sniper key function. If you press the key, it will manually lower your uh, mouse or your uh, sensitivity in the game to be more precise. While you're holding it down. While you're holding so it down. Drop down. Or you could probably have it toggle as well. Oh, okay, um, cool. So, um, but that's kind of the, the idea with the sniper key is some games don't have these features built into them. Mm -hmm. So we kind of built it in the background in the software to let gamers take advantage of these like small things that maybe give them a little advantage of their opponents. I mean, completely is gonna help you because essentially if you're, if you're ever like Obviously, for sniping, you need to have a lower DPI at that point because you're going to make very minute movements. Yeah, and but it could be even the opposite too, where in the sense you could, you could speed up. Like, you know, if you're in a tank, say in Battlefield 4, it's really mm -hmm. hard to kind of whip that. Uh, the, the, the nozzle around you right. know, to get your shot on the opponent. So you maybe want a little higher sensitivity when you're in that kind of vehicle. Um, so having those options available to the gamer through our software, the F Stream. Um, uh, options, uh, the, or the key master options, mm -hmm. um, they have that. And then also we have this macro key function where people can, you know, bind a bunch of keys to one button. Mm. So we uh, do a lot of like th things like this to help the gamer out uh, in the virtual world. Give them as many options as they can yeah. with, with, uh, with all in the motherboard and the software there. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So moving right along, what, what else, what other features would you say are, are shared amongst the boards that you particularly like? Well, one of the things that Jonathan emphasizes in all of his systems, what, what's important to him is stability mm -hmm. uh, with the performance. And so a lot was done with this new series of board to enhance uh, the actual board engineering and quality uh, to make sure that the boards can perform at the absolute maximum level. Uh, and a lot of that was done with our super alloy features. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of things that are on the, the power uh, MOSFETs, special MOSFETs, and uh, special capacitors and chokes that basically eliminate a lot of the noise on the board, uh, allow the board uh, to run a little cooler so there's less noise. What that does is it means that signals aren't lost. Uh, you don't get the inefficiencies of having to resend data because the checksums didn't check out at one end or the other. Doubles uh, or triples the time it would need to do those calculations. Correct, and, and overall that performance gain may be very small, mm -hmm. but our, our philosophy is you know these boards are used for basically gaming, which is like high-end racing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the difference between a Ferrari and a Maserati, they both have Ferrari engines, but a Ferrari is really engineered for maximum performance, whereas a Maserati might be just engineered more for the luxury side of it. So these boards are really engineered for maximum performance. We don't want the quality or anything to get in the way of that performance. Nice. So basically distill it down to pure performance as best you can. That's really the importance of that. Yes. Excellent. Okay. And, and the other thing was to bring that to all levels of the board. So these mm. boards offer a, a fairly wide range in pricing, mm -hmm. but we're able to get that quality of components and quality of uh, engineering to all five boards. Uh, and, and that was one of the big uh, tricks that ASRock is very good at doing. 
Excellent. Okay. So what are you guys doing with overclocking? Because clearly Z97, you're going to want to overclock. Um, well, you know, the, obviously the Z97 Professional is our you know most overclockable. It has the 12 uh, phase, power phase um, capabilities. So um, overclocking the computer uh, is so important for a streamer. Like so, a lot of the pro gamers today are you know playing the games, but they're also streaming their content. Same time. So the same, yeah, and the thing is, when you're running XSplit uh, or OBS, wherever you're running for the streaming software, it takes up a lot of CPU resources. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, just like my computer I had at 3.2 gigahertz, you know, I was playing Battlefield 4 and streaming everything at once, I was, you know, chopping around 100 frames a second or so. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I was able to overclock it to 4.6 gigahertz uh, and you know, do all my streaming stuff as usual and so forth, then I was like, wow, I'm at solid 144 now. Nice. That's where I want to be at because my monitor is also 144 hertz. Okay. So, um, so for, for gamers out there that are really trying to take their game next level and also trying to do the streaming uh, side of it as well, they're going to want the, Z9, the Z97 Professional. Um, also, you know, the Z97 X Killer and the Z97 Killer both offer uh, great overclocking capabilities as well, uh, and that's more of like the bang for the buck for the gamer. Um, so we try to, you know, the goal is also to, you know, save some gamers some money, but uh, give them the tools they need to uh, find out where they fit in. So I think we do that with the, the wide r range of... Uh, Motherboards we have here. And yeah, and on, on the Z97 boards, uh, what we've done is we use uh, different types of capacitors. We actually have uh, multiple capacitors feeding the CPU power. Uh, and the reason we've done that is, is it allows us to overclock without getting the noise that usually comes from it. So we can push the overclocks a little bit higher uh, because the capacitors are allowed to handle a wide range of uh, uh, power and power signals. All right, I think you were telling me before, uh, 12,000, 12,000 hour? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That we have some very high quality capacitors on the power. Very, very nice. So to that end, I actually wanted to mention that clearly because it's Z97, you're also going to get Intel uh, iGPUs that are going to be provided as well. I love the fact that OBS is now uh, entered into streaming and helping others stream by using G-Sync, or excuse me, not G-Sync, I meant to say QuickSync. Of course, they also have NVIDIA's encoding as well built into it, but primarily, I think that's another benefit, obviously, when you have one of these Intel boards, you basically just pop in one of the Intel CPUs that has iGPUs, and then you can just use that to kind of help offset some of the CPU load mm -hmm. and actually just uses that parallel processing built in. So that's fantastic. Uh, so I actually want to know a little bit more about the OC protection and gaming armor is where I was really heading with that. So what can you guys tell me about that? Well, again, the, the gaming armor is orientated towards making sure that you got really clean power to the memory. Mm -hmm. We use some special MOSFETs for that. Mm -hmm. uh, that allows you to overclock the memory a little bit higher. Uh, and it keeps the heat down, so again, you're eliminating some noise in there. Uh, we also have a bunch of uh, dual layer MOSFETs that we're using on the CPU power as well. Mm. Uh, again, allowing you to overclock the CPU a little bit higher uh, without generating the noise and the heat. Uh, and that, those are really the, the orientation towards uh, the, the gaming armor, to really make it so that you can push the boards to the max without having to worry about the reliability. You're telling me also that because of the fact you've picked higher quality components, that also means that now you can it lengthen the longevity of these boards because they're yes. going to be performing under maybe less strenuous conditions than what you're testing them under. Correct. Not just lengthening the, the, the length of the board under normal conditions, mm -hmm but lengthening the board under push conditions right. for when you've overclocked it. Because overclocking a board, you're really stressing the components. Mm -hmm. These components will last a little bit longer uh, with overclocks than, say, a, a standard product. That's awesome. All right, guys, so I see all these boards. I'm, I'm dying to know all the componentry here. Let's just jump right into what, the, what specifically is happening on each one of these boards. Sure. Well, we got uh, five new boards for gaming out. Uh, at the entry level end is the uh, H97 Performance, uh, basic entry level gaming board with the basic gaming features and technology, uh, great price. Uh, the next step up is the H97 Killer board. Uh, this adds things such as a Killer LAN uh, chip on it uh, for better internet connection and performance, uh, great for online gaming. Uh, it also adds the M2 connector in case you wanted an M2 memory disk. Uh, we've actually integrated into the motherboard so it's horizontal. That way it doesn't get in the way of graphic cards or anything. It looks neat in the case. Uh, we also have a SATA Express on here. So if you're going to use the, the new SATA Express uh, SSD with it, uh, we have a port for that as well. Uh, 
Nice. I actually wanted to mention something else about the H97 Express chipset. Typically, that's for uh, business uh, usage, but you guys are, have made them look just like the Z97 boards. At, at the same like aesthetics. I mean, essentially, you really could, as you were saying, John, just get the most inexpensive board. That's usually what H97 is for, right? It's businesses get a really good price point so they can buy multiple. And here they are, ready to go for gamers too. Yeah, I mean, you know. We're not only trying to make it, uh, you know, a really good gaming product that you know that it has like you know all the sweet components and so forth. We're also thinking of like uh, craftsmanship, as, mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, making sure that the the people that buy it feel good about their purchase and so forth. And I think we offer a big, wider range of of uh, price points. But yeah, I mean, these are you know typically probably used for business to business because they have the onboard graphics and so forth on it. But these can also be definitely used for entry level gamers. Oh, excellent! Yeah. And then our, our next step up are obviously the Z97 chipsets. We start out the Z97 killer board, uh, which basically has uh, the PCI Express, uh, the SATA Express, uh, the M2, uh, and uh, the killer LAN on it as well. Uh, we also have uh, the next board, which is the, the 97X. Uh, this board has uh, Crossfire and SLI whereas the other boards are just crossfire. Mm. Um, so you can have an option of different types of cards and configurations. Yeah, and so like, you know, on the Z97 uh, boards here, uh, you know, that's our bang for the buck model. And these are, you know, overclockable. Uh, and that's the main thing I preach about uh, gamers that are trying to get into playing PC games and streaming. They got they should be definitely overclocking their computers. Right, because the Z97, that's kind of the, the jump up from the H97. They're, they're usually more for overclocking. Yeah. And clearly a business needs that less, and therefore you pay a little bit more, but you get a higher quality component. So, excellent. And like I said, these are more like the bang for the buck for the gamer. Okay. So that's the killer and the X killer. So the last is the, the professional, right? This is the, the king of the hill. Yes. <laughs> uh, this one's, uh, you know, the one you can overclock it the most. Uh, you'll get the most stability out of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we also have the sound uh, core 3D uh, sound uh, audio, uh, onboard audio on it. Uh, so this is the only board that has that uh, on the board out of all five boards. Um, so, you know, I have a long list of creative and, you know, having that, I, people like that kind of sound. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. sound makes a game immersive. Yeah, and also on the professional series, we have a dual LAN. We have the killer LAN and we have the Intel LAN as well uh, for dual internet connection. Yeah, and one more for maybe for gaming and the other one just having a really high quality Ethernet connection. So. Exactly. Excellent, guys. All right. So, guys, I'm curious. Any closing thoughts then before we wrap this up? I mean, I think that pretty much clears it up for the gamer. You know, we have five motherboards. We have all the price points covered for them. Um, you know, everything from the entry level of gaming to the bang for the buck to the professional level. And, uh, you know, ASRock's done an amazing job with the craftsmanship, making the boards look sexy, look killer. Yeah. Uh, and... Um, you know, that's kind of my main goal. I just want to make it very easy for the gamers to be able to look and choose between five different motherboards and they kind of know where they fit into and uh, they save some money or they get, you know, the very performance uh, professional uh, series motherboard where they go all out and overclock it and awesome. play games all night. Awesome. So, John, I'm, I'm curious for our viewers out there, where can they follow more of your work and what's happening? Uh, so, you know, I've been using Twitter a lot more recently. Um, I'm uh, at Fatality on Twitter. Um, I'm basically just posting, like, my blogs, uh, you know, my, my weekly personal blogs, uh, gaming news, uh, and then also me live streaming. I've been live streaming uh, on twitch.tv slash Fatality. But, um, you know, you can just connect right to Twitter on at Fatality, and I'm posting a lot more information there now. I'm starting to get into the Twitter world. Uh, not so much Facebook right now. I'm trying to move into more, <laughs> more Twitter, so it's, it's fun. What are you on MySpace? I'm just uh, totally MySpace, kidding. yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago. We, you know, I probably should close that account. Yeah, I, yeah. It's probably out there lurking around. That's still. actually a really good point. I don't think I ever actually closed my MySpace. It's probably still floating around out there yeah. somewhere. I've heard some horror stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I still have a Friendster page. Oh, do you really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for coming in to speak with us about this. And Azrock, as you said, made our high-quality product here. And I definitely want to see them in the hands of any gamer out there that, that wants to just jump right in. You have made that really easy. And thanks for all your tips, by the way, to, to provide for everyone out there for gaming. That's, yeah, I that's just awesome. I love educating people on how to take advantage of the situations they're in, you know, mm -hmm. not only in the video game, but also when they're buying and building computers. So I think we do that with this range of products. That's, that's really cool. Well, thank you guys also for watching this video. Don't forget, if you liked it, to click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our other various YouTube channels. And until then, we'll see you guys very soon.